Oh, you know what I want to ask? Um, discuss the origin of the Big M. You were the, known as the Big M. Oh, yeah, that was from promoting records. You know, like uh, when I first started promoting records, I would go to the radio station and say, what's your name? I would call radio station on the phone. I said, I want to speak to program records. Right? What's your name? I said, Mario Media. I said, what, who? I said, Mario Media. I said, who? I said, M. You know, just said Big M, you know. And then, and then they started being, who's on the phone? Big M. And then the girl said, I would call up and I said, well, just tell them Big M was calling. Because now they, I, they, I could, Mario Media didn't make no sense to them. So she said, how you spell? I said, B-I-G-M. <laughs> so that had started like that. So from then on, everybody started calling me Big M, you know. That's how it started. And I guess this this is as good a time as any. Uh, yeah. So I wanna I wanna. Can you talk talk about? Oh yeah, about that article. Yeah, yeah. That's all. That's talk right. talk about this. Oh yeah, that was, that was like an article in Rolling Stone, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Oh boy, you got all this shit. I forgot about a lot of this. This is uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. This, is, this was in Boston, coming out of the hotel. That's the uh, yeah. Uh, Stu Werburn did this article. That was great. The um, writer with Rolling Stone. There? Yeah, Stu Werburn. Yeah, he was from Boston, and John Landau was was, uh, was like the uh, publisher. You know, like one of the ones that the right. He was he the, was the one who he was the one that had to do the article on John Landau. He was behind it. He, he was the reason that they did it because he he was the. I don't know what they call it, the manager or whatever. You know, whatever you call a publisher for. I don't know. If you he look was, in the magazine here, they'll tell you his name in there somewhere. He yeah. was out or something. So but, he, but now he ended up later producing and, and managing uh, Bruce Springsteen. Right, right. But this is, yeah, this is year from 72. Yeah, yeah, that was way back then, man. And this, this is this is a picture I got. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. right. Where's that right there? That's in Phoenix, Arizona. Tucson, Arizona. So this is a two-page spread in the yeah, right. Rolling Stones. 72, man. Uh, before, before anybody. I know, it's kind of yeah. neat. There you are yeah. right there. Oh, the yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Where they got on the cover to? Meet, meet the oh, big I, I need a copy of that. <laughs> got to make a copy of that. Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> yeah, okay, You, you cool. keep that. You okay, know? cool, man. I mean, I, I want, you know, that's like, oh, uh, I mean, if you had, you don't. Yeah, that in a book. I got two things. Huh? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> that's for, for putting yeah. up with this. Yeah, right. That'd be good for my grandkids to see how sure. they used to do something. They think yeah. I don't ever do shit, so. This stuff's really funny in here. Oh, you know, yeah. All, I mean, all the stories that it... Yeah, it was some funny stories, man. It was some funny stories. Some funny shit happened back then. You know, those stories, you can read them out of that magazine. I know. Meet, <laughs> it, I love Meet the meet the Big M. <laughs> hottest hustler in the record biz. <laughs> That's right. I was hustling records, boy. I was just hustling records like the devil then. I just wanted to get them played, man. I figured if we get them played and the people here, they'll either like it or not. Because you can't, you can't, you can't, uh, you know, you can't, can't can't uh, uh, kill a dead horse, you know. If his motherfucker is dead, he's dead. You know, you can beat the record of death. If he's dead, he's dead. If people don't like it, they're not gonna like it. But you also were, I, I think it, it has it says Esquire magazine listed had you. Uh, oh yeah, I got a copy of it on the wall over here if you want. To. Really, Esquire yeah. had you uh, yeah. uh, listed the top as top one hundred. Yeah, the top. Yeah, oh, one of the the hottest promo man in the biz. Yeah, right. Back then, I guess I was then. Yeah. Yeah. I talk more shit than anybody. I guess that's how they remember. But I also was the music that I promoted was good too. Yeah, it sounded like what I was reading was that you wouldn't. I mean, you wouldn't promote it if it wasn't good. You no, know, if I didn't like it, I just didn't promote it. If I liked it, I try to promote it. You know, I try to like it. I didn't just promote the shit just cause of the line. Said this is a, a hit record. If I liked it, I'd make an extra effort. But if I didn't like it, I just tell you this is a record. You know, you can check it out for yourself. But if I like it, I'll talk so much shit you just play the motherfucker to get me out of the radio station. <laughs> said, get the fuck out. We'll play it if you leave. And I tell him, just hold on, man. Wait till I get in my car because I want to hear it. <laughs> did, 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 I know, I guess, um, oh, how did you, did you have to do anything special to get them to, I mean? No, no, just talk shit. Sometimes I sit down and smoke weed with them or something, but they, they were just about the music, man. It wasn't about no payola. I didn't pay nobody shit to play my record. First of all, if they gave me the money to pay somebody, I kept my damn self. <laughs> Shit, you wouldn't be getting paid that much, so at least you got a chance to hang out with the disc jockeys.